Hey, today we're going to be doing some deduplication of a messy data set using machine learning. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is install the pandas dedupe library. So here we go, pip install pandas dash dedupe. Um, and this will install fine on um, um, Linux, Mac OS X. OS X. Uh, I've got it running here on Windows Subsystem for Linux. I'll leave a link of how to set up Windows Subsystem for Linux in the description. Um, if you want to just do it on plain vanilla Windows, uh, I think you have to install Microsoft Build Tools 2015 so that you can get the, uh, the right version of C++ because uh, you need C++ uh, run in the background for this. So um, if you're on OS X or Linux or Windows Subsystem for Linux, so you won't you won't even have to deal with any of that. So now that that's installed, we want to import import pan, pandas as pd, and we import pandas underscore dedupe the library that we just uh, installed, and then we can uh, take a look at our data set. I got this off of the White House website. Um, I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can follow along. These are all just visitor names to different people who have visited the uh, the White House over the years. So we're gonna take a look at some of those names and there's gonna be people who have uh, visited multiple times and the spelling of their names is not always gonna be the same. So we're gonna pick out uh, people who, are, who have been revisiting the White House. So, Okay, first thing we want to do is import our data frame. We've got this White House CSV, so uh, data frame df equals pd.read csv. It's going to be White House underscore a. Okay, and then we can say df equals, now we're going to start the deduplication process. And is dedupe, and then we're going to call the dedupe data frame method. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, the first argument here is the data frame that you want to do so we're just going with DF and then you want to use a list of the different um, fields that you want to do based on so let's take a look at those field names let's just do all three of them so we got name last name first and name mid. Cool. So run that. It's going to import data. It's going to take a second. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, so let's start labeling this data. We've got um, a couple different options for the data that we're looking at. You can say yes, this is the same person. No, this is not the same person. We're not sure if it's the same person or if you're all done, you can uh, type finished. Uh, and then let's see here. So we'll look at the first person, James Ash, James, Coll James Collar. That's obviously not the same person. So go ahead and then you'll see one more option pops up, which is previous. So you can always go back to the previous person in case you think you made a mistake. See, so it's James, James Collar and Ash again. So you say, no, that's not the right, that's not the same person. Uh, and then you just go through and label a few of these. So, um, you know, I'm not so sure about this one. So I'll say unsure. Elizabeth and Christina, not the same. So you go through and, and label a bunch of these. Um, and then you press uh, F for finished. Uh, so that I'm not taking up too much time, I'll just do that and then I'll see you back here. Okay, I, I labeled my data and I pressed F uh, to finish. And uh, one of the things you'll notice is that you'll have a few files that are automatically created over here, the JSON uh, training JSON and the settings file. Those are both uh, created by dedupe, uh, which is the library this is built on top of. And um, it just allows you that uh, next time you want to do some deduplication work, uh, you don't have to retrain your uh, 
your 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 program every time so that way if you've got you know some other things going on maybe it's a complex program and you don't want to worry about training every time you just you just keep these json and settings files there and uh you won't have to do that again so we've got uh some duplicates found so let's um make a new line here and they see how everything printed out cool looks like everything was fine so let's print this to a csv to make it easier to uh to read let's see what's going on so i'm gonna just call this test.csv and then what we can do is open this up and we'll actually open up the CSV we just created. All right. So this is just from the uh, pandas index. We can get rid of that. And then you notice we got a few new uh, fields over here. So let's drag this over. We got confidence, which is how good of a match <laughs> we were able to find, um, and then we'll sort by cluster ID. Cluster ID over here is what the, um, you know, what, what grouping. So everybody in the same cluster is found to be um, the same, same person. So up here we found Anna Agnes. Uh, got a high confidence that it's the same person. So notice here how, um, few new columns have been added and these were all created by the ddupe library which uh, pandas ddupe is built on top of um, you have these canonical versions of the name so over here it says yeah this is the same Anna Agnes uh, this is likely the same Anna Agnes um, but it also takes a look and says okay this is a blank we want to fill in that missing name and in cases like down here where you have um, different spellings, it says Muhammad Nag uh, versus Muhammad, it's the same cluster. It's recognizing, okay, this isn't the best match in the world, um, but it takes, it takes the names here and it'll create a standardized version of that name, which, uh, especially if you're dealing with messy names or... Um, dirty um, address and stuff like that can be very helpful. It's frequency based, so in this case, uh, you only have two instances of the name. Uh, but if, if it was Muhammad Nag uh, three times um, and Muhammad once, it would choose Muhammad Nag. So uh, that's, how, that's how the canonical um, portion of dedupe works. Um, and that's about it. It looks like this this uh, this data set is has all of these names deduplicated. Uh, so feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments section. Good luck.